Okay, so diving back into the conditions precedent, I think there's supposed to be a picture here. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple pretty standard conditions precedent to disbursement materials that we require. I believe some of the project managers have probably sent you an email already listing out all of all of those. Um, so the first one is a resolution. So in that resolution from your organization, you want to list the people um, or yeah, the people who will be able to basically enact the grant agreement and execute the project on behalf of your organization. So that could be, that's usually your executive director um, or director level staff, but it can also be, for example, if you have a specific fiscal individual that does a lot of like the art, the invoicing and tracking of your fiscal operations, you can add them in there too as well. Um, in the past, I've had this portion be a little restrictive sometimes if you put the person's like exact name. So when our invoice team kind of checks all the condition precedent materials for your invoice, they'll check to see that that is the individual that's supposed to be signing the document. Um, if you have the flexibility, you can just put in the title of the person. So I know I've had some grantees whose organizations um, have like high turnover rates. So people keep changing and that kind of creates um, some issues on the resolution if it's like one specific person. Then you have the work program. The work program, again, I will also dive in a deep, a little bit deeper later on, but just high, really high level, your work program will contain your budget, a list of subcontractors that you'll be working with for your project and a plan for acknowledging the conservancy's uh, funding. And then finally, we have the proof of insurance. So as you can see, this is what a certificate of um, insurance looks like. So when we ask for this COI, a proof of insurance and also permits are necessary, um, this is what it should look like. Although I do know that some insurance companies provide a little bit of different formatting. This is usually what it looks like. Um, importantly, the certificate holder on the bottom should be us, should be the California State Coastal Conservancy. And what's really helpful um, is also in the description of operating locations vehicles. So the box above the certificate holder portion is you put in the project name and the uh, grant agreement number, if you have that number. If you guys don't have that grant agreement number yet, just because we we have a huge amount of grants from um, that got approved from our last board meeting, you can also put in the project number, which the which the um, project manager will explain a little bit more for you if necessary. Oh, great, there's a little red box that flies up. Okay, 